Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can buy AVAX coin using the Coinbase app. As you can see over here, what I really like about Coinbase is that you don't have to go and look for the coins. All the major coins are right in front of your list. On the top is Bitcoin, then Ethereum, then Solana and then we have the AVAX coin. First thing you want to check over here is your indicator working appropriately and what is the interval that is preset as a default on Coinbase. For example, we have a one hour interval. Is that the interval you want to trade or you make your decision? Sorry, you want to be very careful over here. OK, guys, uh, because there is a difference between using the mobile app and using the desktop version. When you're ready and identified an opportunity to enter or exit the position, all you got to do is to go on the lower left corner and click on the buy button. Over here, you will have uh, three different ways to go about buying AVAX coin. You can go and simply set a limit order. You can go and simply set a market order or simply set the stop limit. As you can see today, uh, AVAX is up 6, almost 7%. And this is what I really like about crypto market. It really moves very, very fast. But be very cautious, guys. Things might go <laughs> south very fast. There, 10 to 20x volatility uh, more than the stock market. I did make quite uh, uh, tutorials about the stock market in comparison. So over here, guys, let's let's focus on the actual buying process. So for example, currently the price of AVAX is 32 dollars 20 cents fluctuating, right? If you set the limit price, you most likely want to buy it cheaper. Uh, considering that this could be at, as low as uh, we saw over here could be at 31.50, 31.80. You can set your price, right? Or you can work simply with percentages underneath, as you can see, buy when AVAX falls 1% or falls 5% or falls 10%. Uh, the other option you can, look, you can work around is with the actual dollar amount. So if you had your portfolio with 1000 hours and there is a percentages which you could allocate with this. For example, if uh, the AVAX fails 5%, you want to allocate 50% or 20% or 25% right, of your portfolio. This is how you could you know, see the allocation or the diversification of your portfolio, probably in a better way, just percentage-wise. You know, for example, you have a quarter of your portfolio in this and that, so you know exactly how good or how bad your portfolio is doing. Again, I'm going to remind you people that you know trading crypto is always associated with fees don't forget that if you buy hundred dollars worth of any crypto you're not gonna get hundred dollars worth of this crypto you're gonna get uh, you know charged a small fee depending on the volume depending on the uh, how often do you trade and this is something that you want to bear in mind for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more